everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up Telnet on a router. We're dealing with Practice Topology 5, our three routers in a row. And I've got OSPF already set up on all the routers. And just to verify things, I'm going to do a ping to all ones from router 3, and I have full connectivity. So what we want to do in this lab is we want to set up Telnet on router 3, and then we'll see if router 1 and router 2 can Telnet in to router 3. So it's actually pretty easy to set up Telnet. I'll pull in router 3 window right there. Change the font for you guys so you can see a little bit better. So go down to Appearance, Window, Clear Type, and we'll change it to 14 point font right there. That looks a lot better. All right, so it's pretty easy to set up Telnet, Conf T, and then we have to go into line VTY mode. These are virtual Telnet lines. So line VTY, typically you do zero to four, which means you are configuring Telnet line, virtual terminal line zero, one, two, three, and four. So a total of five different lines. You can look at this as saying you are configuring line VTY zero through four, if I hit the backspace and hit question mark, you could see on this particular router, I can go all the way up to 903. But uh, if you have more than five people telneted into your router, you are probably dealing with uh, a problem situation. It's not normal. So line VTY 04, we'll hit enter right there. You could see our configuration now goes into config line mode. And if I hit the question mark, our options are a lot different than what you are used to seeing. Then I'm going to type in, well, I'm going to scroll up, and you can see here the word login, enable password checking. And the reason we have to do these commands is I'm going to move over R2, and I'll show you what happens if you try to telnet into a router without having anything set up. So first we'll just make sure we can ping the loopback interface and I can get there. So now I'm going to tell net, actually this would be myself. So I'm going to ping all threes and I can get there. And now I'm going to tell net to all threes. You can see it tries and then it's going to give you the typical password required, but none is set. So this is a clear sign that telnet has not been set up. So it's going to go back to R3. We've already done line VTY04. Going to type in the word login. And you can see here, login disabled until a password is set. Going to type in the word password. And the simplest thing you could do is password, space, and then a password. Here I'm going to type in Cisco. So like the typical password that everyone uses. Then I'm going to... I'm going to verify that by pulling over R2. Let's hit the up arrow, Telnet, all threes. And you can see now I am now asked for a password. I'll type in Cisco and I am in. Now I still need to do one more thing because if I try to go enable mode, you can see that it says no password is set. So I need to configure the enable password. We'll exit out of there. And I do that by typing in enable secret. You could simply do enable password, but that's a regular password. What we want to do is do enable secret, question mark, and then type in the word Cisco or whatever password you want to use. Here we'll do enable secret Cisco. We'll go over back over to R2. Exit out of there. Telnet back into all threes. Cisco, try to do enable right there. Cisco, and we are in the enable mode, and we could do conf T and basically anything we want. Let's exit out of there, and I'm going to show you a pitfall that you can run into when you're configuring Telnet. Let's go back into line VTY 04. We'll do login again. And we'll do password, question mark. Let's say you type in Cisco, hit space and question mark just to see what other options are there. And now let's say you hit enter right there. What you've actually done is you've typed in Cisco 
with the space. And now if I try to telnet in, telnet, all threes, you can see here it's asking for the password again. If I type in the word Cisco without a space, it's going to bomb out on me. So what I actually have to do here is type in Cisco with the space and then the password matches. So always be a little bit very careful actually when you're typing in this password right here. And as you can notice, if I exit out and do a show run, you'll see that it's going to look the same as I go down to right here, line VTY04, password Cisco, everything looks normal and you you wouldn't know. So what you would actually have to do to fix it is go back to Kafti, line VTY04, login, and just retype the word Cisco in there without the space. Hit enter. Then we're going to verify things. We'll exit out on R2. Telnet back to all threes. Type in Cisco and everything works. Exit out of there. All right, so that was a quick and easy video of how to set up Telnet on a router. There are multiple steps here. Basically, all you have to do is when you go into line VTY mode, I'll just do a show run right there. You have to do line VTY04, type in the word login, then type in the word password, followed by a password. Here we're using Cisco. And then to give people enable access, what you have to do is do enable password, which is somewhere over here. Let's see if I could find it. There you go. We actually did enable secret and then we typed in a password, which is Cisco. And you can see here, enable secret five. That means it is an MD5 hash. And then it has scrambled everything there. Okay, so that was a quick and easy video on how to set up Telnet. In the next video, I will show you how to secure Telnet from people that uh, you might not want accessing the router. Thanks for watching.